ministry of the Calvary Baptist Church. This is Countdown to Courage. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Countdown to Courage. I apologize. We came on just a few minutes late today. And so anyway, please accept my apologies for that. It's great to have you aboard today. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day today. It's Tuesday. Let's see, October the 25th, 2022. And I hope you're having a good Tuesday. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. And we certainly did. We certainly had a great weekend at Calvary Baptist Church. God blessed in such a great way. There was a spirit of, uh, just a spirit of brotherly love, camaraderie, electricity in the air. And Sunday morning, Sunday night, man, it was exciting, both services. And uh, we're just so thankful for how the Lord blessed. And it was so good to see so many of you there. And uh, let me just uh, sort of say, like we always do, if you're not the member of a good Bible-believing, Bible-preaching, Bible-teaching church, I want to encourage you to come be with us at Calvary. We would love to have you. God's doing great, great things. We are located in the beautiful Union Grove, North Carolina uh, area, but People are driving and commuting from all over the place, and for that, we're humbled and thankful. And uh, anyway, we're also humbled and thankful to have you watching today. Thank you for tuning in. Listen, if you would do this, if you would like and share the broadcast, especially since we came on just a little bit late today, to let people know that we are here today, we are broadcasting. The more we do that, the more the message of the gospel is going to get out. You know so many people that I don't, and uh, and so the more you share, the more the message of Christ is going to saturate our area, and that's what we need. And so anyway, I appreciate appreciate you doing that. Also, please comment, comment. Uh, if you don't comment, a lot of times we don't know you're watching. And so I want to encourage you to comment today. Uh, we would love to interact with our live audience. And Lord willing, we'll take just a few moments to do that today. Listen, if you want to grab your Bibles and follow along, if you're able to do that, I know some of you are watching from work. Others are listening in the car. You're not able to do that. That's fine. But if you're watching and you want to follow along, let me encourage you to turn to an incredible passage of Scripture today. 1 Samuel chapter number 30 is where we're going to be today. Let me say real quickly, thank you for uh, praying for my mother, I appreciate that very, very much. She's stay, standing in the need of prayer today. In fact, my wife and I, pretty much as soon as this broadcast is done, we will head out um, to the hospital down in Concord, North Carolina. So anyway, please continue to lift up my mother if you would. I would appreciate that um, in, a, in a big, big way. And so anyway, let me do this. Let me take us over here to the split screen if I could. Uh, we are promoting a giveaway this week. And, um, and of course, as you can see, and I, this is, uh, we, we just really, we just sort of unveiled this to social media, but we've just come out with a brand spanking new book called uh, The Main Ingredient in Marriage. Of course, our branding logo, if you will, is Rekindle the Romance. We started that a, a number of years ago, and we've, we've decided to sort of keep that as our icon, if you will. And so uh, every year we have what we call our Rekindle the Romance Marriage Retreat. And now, what a joy we've been, been able to do that with other churches. And so anyway, brand new book, The Main Ingredient in Marriage. And so if it's all right with y'all, I want to take just a moment. I want to share about a minute video with you if I could. And then we'll come back here and we'll get right into our lesson today. And so again, if you're, if you're watching, be sure you comment because we're going to do some shout outs here in just a moment. And so anyway, we'll go to the video and then we will, uh, we'll come back and do some shout outs here in just a moment. Enjoy the video. Thanks for taking time to watch the video. I really appreciate that. Many months ago, God began to lay a message on my heart, uh, a message from the Word of God designed for couples. It was entitled, The Main Ingredient in Marriage. Um, 
I've been sharing that now throughout the last few months and just super excited about that. I felt so strongly about that truth that we have decided to put it into book form. And so I'm excited today to tell you about our latest book release called The Main Ingredient in Marriage, Rekindle the Romance. Let me share some of the uh, chapter headings in the book with you if I could. And uh, of course, the first chapter is The Main Ingredient in Marriage. Uh, we've got a chapter in here called God's Cookbook for a Spicy Marriage. There's another chapter in here that I wish every married couple would read entitled The Married Couple's Greatest Defense. And on and on it goes. It's a very easy read. It's just a little over 100 pages. These books are now available here at our Common Grounds Bookstore at Calvary. Also, they're um, available at Gullings Christian Supply. And now we're thankful that they're all on the Amazon platform. Also, if you'd rather use a, uh, a tablet, they are available in digital form as well. And so again, uh, the main ingredient in marriage. And so I hope you'll get yours today. Thank you for your friendship. And uh, we cover your prayers. And we're trusting that God will use the brand new book to glorify Him and also to be a blessing to many married couples. God bless and take care. Hey, thanks for taking time to watch that today. And so the reason I played that is we're giving this book away this week. And so um, if you'd like to get involved in the giveaway for the brand new book, all you need to do right now is just reach down and like the broadcast and share. That's the important part there. Reach down, hit that share button, um, and you can post something if you want or not, but just share it. And the more you do that, the more the message is going to get out. And so toward the end of the week, Lord willing, my beautiful little wife will uh, put those names together in a pool and we will draw out for the brand new book entitled The Main Ingredient in Marriage, Rekindle the Romance. All right. And if you're one of our folks, we'll give it to you on the campus there. If you're not one of our folks, then we will put it in an envelope, get it right to you. Won't cost you a cent. And that will be compliments of the Calvary Baptist Church in Union Grove, North Carolina. Let's find out who's watching today very quickly, and then we'll get right into the uh, into the lesson today. And it looks like Rodney Tomlin's watching. Hello, Rodney. Good to see you. And we miss you and Allison on Sunday. Hope you had a great vacation. And it's, it's a a blessing to see you back here today. God bless you, my friend. Uh, Patsy Bird is with us today. Hello, Patsy. Hope you and Ronnie are blessed and having a great day today. Karen Hoppins with us. Hello, Karen. Good to see you today. I hope you're having a good Tuesday, Karen, and we appreciate you in a big way. Bruce Tripp's back on here with us today. Bruce, great to see you back on the broadcast today. What a joy. Thank you so much for tuning in, my friend. Carmen Brooks. Hey, Carmen. Good to see you today. I hope you're having a great week so far, Carmen. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Eddie Weatherman. Hello, Eddie. Thanks for being here today. And man, it's been a joy to have you and your wife. Thank you for liking, sharing the broadcast today, Eddie. I appreciate that very, very much. Uh, hey, there's the Hooks watching from Morganton, North Carolina. Barry, Christine, we count you guys as dear friends. Good to see you on the broadcast today. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, looking really f fast. There's Chuck Campbell. Hey, Chuck. Hey, Chuck, not just saying this, I was praying for you and your kids earlier today, praying for Lucas and the other children, and it's good to see you, Chuck. Thanks for tuning in. There's Michelle Hoots, everyone. Hello, Michelle. Hope you and Lee and the kids are having a, a blessed day today. Thanks for tuning in. Harrison Wabiru. Harrison, good to see you, my brother. And again, Harrison, I'm not just saying this, I prayed for you today, prayed for you and I hope you and your wife are doing well, and uh, thank you so much for tuning in today, Harrison. God bless you. We're going to be featuring you and your wife uh, in an upcoming uh, Missions Emphasis on Wednesday night uh, very, very soon. And so, Harrison, great to have you aboard today. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you. Hey, there's Stacy Jarvis. Hey, Stacy. Good to see you today. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you and Chris are blessed today. Gwendolyn uh, Pennington's watching. Hey, Gwendolyn, good to see you. It was great to see you and Eugene and Seth on Sunday. Thank you so much for tuning in. There's Able Seats. Look at this church. Able Seats watching from Jamaica. <laughs> Abel and Lauren are suffering for Jesus down in Jamaica today. And don't we feel sorry for them? 
Hey, Abel and Lauren, good to see you guys today. Post, uh, post a couple pictures in the comments section here, and uh, it's good to see you guys today. God bless you. I hope you're having a great time today. Um, looking really fat. Hey, there's the Sislofs. It's good to see the Sislofs today. Brother Seth, Miss Tabitha, hey, I've been praying for you guys, praying for little Elkin, and uh, man, we love you guys in a big way. It's good to see you today. God bless you. Charles Kimmeru. Charles is watching from the country of Kenya. Charles, I've been praying for you, my brother, and uh, in fact, I prayed for you today, and uh, Charles, what a blessing. Good to see you. Thank you for tuning in. There's Ricky Bird. Hey, Ricky. Good to see you, buddy. Hope you're having a great day. I hope you're feeling better and better, Ricky. Thank you for tuning in today. I'm just looking really fast. Wanda Beat uh, is watching. Wanda, welcome to the broadcast. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Well, listen, that's some of the ones that I can see, all right? There may be others that are uh, tuning in. And again, don't forget, if you'd like to get involved in the giveaway for the brand new book, be sure you like and share right now, and that will be great. Let's talk about this subject today, how to... Are you ready? How to encourage yourself. I think that's going to be a good little study for us. How to encourage yourself. Have you found 1 Samuel chapter 30? If so, I want you to look with me there quickly today, if you will. And the Bible says this, And it came to pass, when David and his men were come to Ziglag on the third day, that the Amalekites had invaded the south, and Ziglag, and smitten Ziglag, and burned it with fire. And in taking the women captives that uh, that were therein, they slew not any, either great or small, but carried them away and went on their way. So David and his men came to the city, and behold, it was burned with fire, and their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captives. Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept, listen to this, until they had no more power to weep. And David's two wives were taken captives, Ahinoam, the Jezreelitess, and Abigail, the wife of Nabal, the Carmelite. Now I want you to listen specifically to verse number six. The Bible says, and David was greatly distressed for the people spake of stoning him because the soul of all the people were grieved, was grieved every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David, here it is, but David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. And that's what I want to take, Lord willing, a few days, and I want to talk just about this subject, how to encourage yourself. There's so many how-to books out there, how to get rich, how to get rid of debt, how to, you know, plant a garden, so many things, you know. But I want to talk to you about how to encourage yourself yourself. Now let me give you a little background behind the story here in 1 Samuel chapter 30. David and his men have been fighting alongside of King Achish um, and uh, at the same time they're being pursued by King Saul. Saul is um, uh, after David and trying to uh, trying to, to put David out of business, trying to kill him, if you will. King Achish has now sent David away. Uh, his men are a little afraid because David and his mighty men are such warriors. They're afraid that if David ever decides to rise up against them, that they've had it. And so they convince King Achish to send David and his men away. They're getting ready to return to their hometown. They're so excited. Man, they're looking forward to uh, kissing their wives. They're looking forward to holding their children. They're looking forward to sort of coming back into Ziglag as the, uh, as the victorious warriors that they are, and they really were. And the Bible says that Boy, there's that spirit of anticipation as they're coming back home. And just a little ways before they get back to Ziglag, they begin to see the fire from the city. And Ziglag, their hometown, has been invaded and burned and left in ruins. And their wives and their children have been taken captive. And the Bible says that the, that the people become very discouraged. In fact, they get so discouraged that they have thoughts of stoning King David. Now, uh, the Bible says here, but David, who I'm sure was tempted to be discouraged himself, the Bible says, but David encouraged himself in the Lord. Now, we're going to talk about that a little bit. We're going to unpack that for you just a little bit. If you know somebody that's battling with discouragement, somebody that is uh, in the valley and they just can't seem to, 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 to get out of it, 
I want to encourage you to share this broadcast the next few days. And I'm hoping that the Lord would lead us to say some things that's going to encourage people, that's going to edify some folks. And so I hope that you'll, I hope that you'll share. Now, here in 1 Samuel chapter 30, it's at this point that David has a choice to make. He can even give in, he can either give in to discouragement, and I'm sure that was a huge temptation, or he can decide to encourage himself. David here in 1 Samuel chapter 30 is in need of great, great encouragement, serious encouragement. Uh, depression has entered the camp, uh, and it's really beginning to take over. Uh, and I said that to say this, friend, discouragement needs to be dealt with before it becomes overwhelming. Uh, all of us from time to time visit the valley of discouragement. But it's important that you never stay there. Somebody said it's a good place to visit, but you wouldn't want to live there. Listen, discouragement's not even a good place to visit. I'm going to be honest with you. But if you ever visit the Valley of Discouragement, whatever you do, don't settle for it. Don't stay there. It's important, just as David did in 1 Samuel chapter 30, that when discouragement comes knocking on your door and when discouragement comes knocking on my door, it's very important that we encourage ourself in the Lord. Now, let me tell you how serious this is today, if I could. This is uh, uh, an article from U.S. News and World Report, and it goes on to say something like this. Nearly 10% of Americans suffer from depression with mood disorder increasing fastest among teens and young adults, a new study finds. Between 2015 and 2020, Incidents of depression reached 9% among, among Americans 12 years old and older. Among teens and adults, the depression rate stood at 17% in 2020, the researchers found. Now listen closely here. The Bible, or not, not the Bible, but this, uh, this article from U.S. News and World Report went on to say this, that depression is extremely, extremely common in the U.S. and has reached epidemic levels is what it went on to say depression is a public health problem analogous to the flu it said that this however depression is far more lethal than the flu for young persons depression is a primary driver of suicide and suicide attempts and it's possible that the rise in suicide seen in the united states could be tied to the growing prevalence uh, of depression Suicide is the 12th leading cause of death in the U.S. Now, let me, let me close this up today by saying this, that if David, now this is such an important statement today, if David would have waited for someone to encourage him, how many know that that encouragement may have never came? But here's the important thing. David encouraged himself. In the Lord. If you're watching this broadcast today and you say, Pastor, I am so discouraged. I'm battling with, the, with depression and I'm waiting on someone to encourage me. Listen, friend, you don't have time to wait. You need to encourage yourself in the Lord today. Now, I'm thankful that I can tell you the good news is this, that there is encouragement in the Lord. God is willing to encourage you. He wants to encourage you. In fact, if you're born again, he has given you a Holy Spirit that will encourage you and desires to encourage you. Now you say, Brother Pope, I'm not born again. I don't have the Holy Spirit. Okay, well, in just a moment, we're going to put a number on your screen. In fact, I'll go ahead and do that right now. And if you're watching this broadcast, we would love to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with you and how you can have the Holy Spirit of God and how you can have and experience that encouragement from the Lord. Now, here's what we're going to do, folks. The next few days, God willing, we're going to unpack this and we're going to talk about how to encourage yourself. And so you won't want to miss this, all right? This is going to be helpful. It's going to be enlightening. I believe it's going to be encouraging. Again, if you're watching the broadcast today and you don't know Christ as personal Savior, please right now reach for your phone. Call that number on your screen. If no one answers immediately, be sure you leave a callback number so myself or one of our wonderful prayer helpline workers can get with you. Again, that number is 704 327 
5662. And then all of our uh, Countdown family, don't forget, be kind to everyone because everyone's having a tough time. I hope you have a great rest of the day. And God willing, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow at the same time on Countdown to Courage. God bless and take care.